puzzles, I love my quizzes, all my trivia and logic things I, I love here on the channel, whether it's a game or a puzzle or a quiz, you know that I am a big fan of it. And uh, in tonight's video, we're going to actually be putting my knowledge, my general knowledge, to the test. Oh, good is my trivia, my general knowledge. I guess we'll find out and to gauge how it fares. My girlfriend has lined up five, one, two, three, four, five different themed quizzes or puzzles on a website with a bunch of quizzes called Sporkle. Now, I'm quite nervous. Hopefully I do all right and we'll see our results as we go. And for all the quizzes or puzzles we do try in tonight's video, I will link them in the description if you want to try them out for yourself. But yeah, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy me probably embarrass myself. <laughs> and if you do enjoy, then why not drop the video a big thumbs up, it'd really mean a lot to me. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the first quiz of the video and find out what's in store for this one. Okay, so for the first quiz, I have just opened up the link uh, from our message and it looks to be a science based quiz so we're starting off with science as our theme i guess and it looks like we have 30 questions a possible score of 30 for this quiz and seven minutes to do so all right let's give it our best try i don't want to look at the questions before we start let's make this nice and legit so uh let's get started okay first up chemistry what is any one of the alternate names of N-A-C-L, I think. Gosh, I have no idea. I, I didn't actually take chemistry in high school. I only took physics, and I guess it looks like they are including maths here. So I have no idea for that one. Maybe something chloride, I would guess, but I have no idea what N-A is. Unless it's, is it sodium? That's the only thing I can think of. Chloride. Okay, I swear on my life that was just a guess. Right, we better crack on. I can't get too excited about that, right? What number is 10 to the 12? That's 12 zeros. Um, six is a million, nine is a billion, 12 is a trillion. It says that's in the US, but 18 in the UK. That's really weird. I didn't know that. I only knew 12 being trillion. Who is the only woman with two Nobel Prizes, one in chemistry? That is going to be... What's her name? Is it Marie Curie? Yes, it is indeed. Hold on, my mouse is clicking a bit weird. Um, what do you call a line segment that connects any two points on a circle? That is a chord. What is the more common term for negative log? Of that, I have no clue. We're gonna skip that one. In the biological classification system, what comes between species and family? I don't know. Which British scientist came up with three laws of motion? That is Newton. What is the non technical name for dehydrogen monoxide? I've no clue. I've no clue. Name this sequence that goes one, one, two, three. That is the. I'm gonna spell this wrong, probably Fibonacci. There we go, the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, we got about five minutes here to crack on. What is the movement of water through a selectively permeable membrane? I. That one's not getting answered. Physics, which star is closest to the planet Earth? Is that a trick 
question the sun um, what is the name for zero Kelvin or minus 273.15 Celsius that is got to be absolute zero temperature what trigonometric function is the same as sine divided by cosine that is tangent or tan accepted Geometrically, what is the specific structure of DNA molecules called? Um, I have no idea. On the electromagnetic spectrum, what type of radiation has the shortest wavelength? Is it X-rays? No. Gamma, gamma rays, okay. I couldn't remember which one. Okay, I feel like I'm doing all right at this, but we're, we're running out of time, so we got to get a little bit faster. Name any one of the noble gases that isn't radioactive. What? What are the noble gases? Um, I, I can't even, I'm going to skip to the ones that I can't answer. What is the more common name for a regular um, hexahedron? X is six, so six, that's going to be a cube. Uh, six sides. Earth science, what is the most abundant element in Earth's atmosphere? It's not oxygen, is it nitrogen or carbon dioxide? It's one of, one of those three. I think it's nitrogen, yes. What is the SI unit for energy, named after English physicist? Energy is joules, is it not? Yeah. I can't remember the guy's name, though. Complete the other half of the ideal gas law, PV equals... I'm just going to guess a bunch of letters, <laughs> please, one's got to give me it, unless it's two things, come on, one got to give me it, one's got to give me it, maybe not, I don't know, uh, for a pair of points, what does that rise, that is going to be the gradient, the gradient of a line, or the slope, name either of the two bases that complete this set. <laughs> that one can just, yeah, we'll skip that question. In E equals MC squared, what is the constant represented by C? That is the speed of light. Um, what German-speaking friar is famous for discovering the field of genetics? I have no clue. Um, is my camera about to cover the questions? It is, so I'll move it over to this side for you all. <laughs> um, I'll do that as we go. Right, let's skip to the physics and maths ones that I can actually do. What is the world's largest and highest energy particle accelerator? I don't know. I don't know. What kind of number has factors that sum itself? What do you call that again? Gosh, I should be able to get that, but I've forgotten what you call it. Are there any questions I can get here? What are the hair-like sensory motion structures on the outside of cells called? Yikes. I thought this would be one I'm good at. Let's go back to some previous ones in biological classification system. What comes between? Is it the genus? It is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just had a moment of acknowledgement on that one there. V equals, I should know that, I think you use it in physics as well, PV, PV equals, P, PV NRT, okay, 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 last minute ones, I don't know the German speaking Freier, Freier, I don't even know that word, what does a plant cell have surrounding it that an animal cell does not, I have no idea, Using element symbols, decode this message. Sulfur, I don't know that. Sulfur, plutonium, carbon, potassium. That's probably something really clever, but I have no idea. It probably begins with an S, but I'm running out of time. What did we get? And we got a score of, as you can see, 57%. Um, I'll move my camera back here, 57%. The average score is 61, so I'm just below average on that first quiz. Sadly, couldn't quite get it, but the ones we missed, pH, I probably could have got that. Water, you are kidding me. 
I'm so sorry. Osmosis. I probably wasn't going to get that. Double helix. Wouldn't have got... Oh, I maybe could have got the helium one. Um, and the rest of these ones down here that my camera is covering. Probably wouldn't have got Spock. That's pretty clever. Perfect number. I've just embarrassed myself. I should have got that. I should have got perfect number. Right. I guess we will give myself a 6 out of 10, I guess, because rounding up to 60%, a 6 out of 10 for my science knowledge. Let's move on to whatever topic is next. Okay, I'm really, really excited for this next quiz because I love my flag trivia, and uh, this one here seems to be guess the flag, so I would assume that this is geography um, for this theme. Uh, little spoilers, we can see the first one is going to be Japan, but it looks like there are 15 flags. We get six minutes to do this. I hope that my flag knowledge does well. Hope it prevails because I do know quite a lot of flags. And um, I'm sure I can get better than six out of ten on this one. So let's waste no more time. Get started with Japan. That is... I think it's Mongolia, but I don't recognize this yellow thing. Yeah, it is Mongolia. Why do I not recognize that yellow thing? I don't know. Uh, that is, of course, Russia. Uh, gosh, that one is... It's not Sweden, Finland. It's Norway. Um, that's Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. Gosh. I'm going to embarrass myself here. Is it Australia? Yes, I didn't want it to be New Zealand there. That is Cambodia. Cambodia. Canada. Canada. Wait, what? Canada. Canada, 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 Canada. We have Germany next. Oh, we're racing through this. Um, is that Iraq or Iran? It's Iran. Okay. Uh, oh gosh, what is that? I don't think I've ever seen that flag in my life. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the colors. I love the colors on it. I would guess. I would guess it's maybe, maybe an Asian flag. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to skip that one. Is that Laos? It is. India, of course. China. Oops, I spelled it right. China. The USA, of course, it's going to be there. So we've got them all. Except this one here. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one. So I'm going to have to click give up. But I think... If my math serves me right, we may have got a 9 or a 10 out of 10 here. I think it might be a 10 out of 10 for my geography. <laughs> flags. Flags anyways. We'll call it geography flags. Let's give up. Comoros, you're kidding. Dang. I don't think I would have got that though. I don't think I would have. But what's interesting to see is that the average score is 71%. That's a little bit lower than I expected it to be. We got 93, so we do end up with a 9 out of 10 on geography at least. That was really fun. I'm glad we got that one. Let's move on to quiz number 3. Okay, this next quiz I have just seen is a history, history, history quiz. No, my... Gran would be very disappointed in me if I don't at least get 5 out of 10 for this because she loves her history and um, my history is not so great. I won't lie to you guys, I did history for a little bit in high school but I wasn't a huge fan of it and I have a feeling I'm probably going to make a mockery of myself here so I apologise. This one looks pretty cool, it looks like for each question. Uh, it gives us a clue by saying that the answer begins with that letter of the alphabet. So accumulating to 26 questions. 
but we only have five minutes to do it. But I have a feeling just by peering at some of these questions, I probably won't be able to answer half of them, but we will start. Civilization centered around Tenochtitlan. I would assume that's Aztec, but I've never heard of that word. Uh, the liberator of much of South America. I don't know. Hannibal was a general for this anti-Rome city. I don't know what that is either. Famous painter of the Mona Lisa, and that is going to be Da Vinci. An African nation that successfully resisted European imperialism. Okay, African, no, African city, African nations, beginning with E. Egypt. It's not going to be Egypt, though. Iswatini. No. I mean, I'll, I'll try them both. Um, nope. Uh, Ethiopia. Nope. Um, or am I spelling that right? Yep, I am. Um, I'll come back to it. It's the last one I can think of. Maybe it's with an I. Ethiopia. E. Well, that's gonna be like that. I knew I was spelling it wrong. The assassination of this man led to World War I. Franz Ferdinand. Can I just type in Ferdinand? Yep. First great Mongol ruler. No clue. Amorite leader oh, for his famous code of laws. Code of Laws. Never heard of that. Civilization, civilization centered in Andes Mountains, beginning with I. I should be able to get that, but I'm going to come back to it. Um, Roman leader killed by Brutus. Is that Julius Caesar? I just spell it C E S E A R. Caesar. How do you spell Julius Caesar? Is it with an A? Caesar. I don't know how you spell Julius Caesar. That's killing me. Julius J U L I U S C A E C. Sorry, there we go. Sorry about that. The Shakespeare of Sanskrit. I don't know what Sanskrit is, sadly. Nailed 95. These starting with the. Oh, that's gonna be. Uh, oh, Martin Luther. Uh, we got two minutes left. Oh my goodness. Mansa Musa, the wealthy ruler of this African empire. I don't know, but I'm gonna move my camera for the next set of questions. French leader who conquered much of Europe. That's Napoleon. There we go. Napoleon Bonaparte. Group that finally defeated. The Byzantine Empire, no idea. Greek philosopher and student of Socrates, no idea. Uh, dynasty during which the Terracotta army was made, no idea. Cultural movement beginning in Florence, Italy. I should be able to get that one. But I can't remember it. Nickname of Louis the Fourth of uh, 14th of France, no idea. Title held by rulers of Russia is a Tsar a Pope who called for the Crusades I don't know, the only Pope I do know is Francis so it's not gonna be nope <laughs> Roman poet of the Ainate, I don't know the peace of no clue Persian ruler who attacked the Greeks at Thermopylae, I don't know first shotgun of Japan I don't know, and Sumerian pyramid, I don't know Yikes. I am nowhere near 5 out of 10 on this. We have 8 out of 26. Um, Anti-Rome city beginning with C. I don't know. I feel like I can get the cultural movement. Is it the Renaissance? I can't remember how to spell it. I feel like it is, but I can't spell it. 
Uh, oh, it is. Oh my goodness. We we ran out of time. I didn't see my time there. Um, eight out of twenty-six. Average score is sixty-one percent. Yo, that was so difficult. That was so difficult. I got thirty-one percent, which is a three out of ten. Yikes. Some of the answers we didn't get on the right hand side. The Ottoman Empire, Plato, Kin Renaissance. Okay, I feel like we should give us that, but I think I'd still be on three out of ten. The Sun King, Urban the Second, Virgil. Oh, I probably could have got Virgil actually. I wouldn't have got any of these last ones. Uh, moving the camera. Malayan. I don't even want to pronounce that, probably can't. Kalidasa. Inc. Oh, I probably could have got Incan. Um, Amurabi. Yeah, I don't think I would have got any of these. So, that was the hardest one so far. Yikes. I can't believe my girlfriend thought I was going to do anywhere near average on that. Anyways, please give me something good next. Let's find out what this next quiz we do have in store for us. So, I have just seen um, to decide that this one here is apparently meant to be film and television. <laughs> and the title of this quiz um, is Can You Name the Movies from this portion of their posters? So it looks like it is a, um, a movie poster um, quiz. And I'm just going to start because I love my movies, so I should be able to get lots of these. Uh, let's start in the top left with Twilight. That's going to be the Dark Knight. I've never seen that poster, though. Uh, actually don't know what the next movie is. Or the next one. Um, the next one, though, is Terminator. And then we have Back to the Future. I love the Back to the Future movies. We have Saving Private Ryan up next. Um, love Tom Hanks. Love him in the, that movie as well. And I just love history movies, which is <laughs> ironic considering um, what just happened in the last quiz. Then we have The Breakfast Club, a great movie. That's actually my girlfriend's favorite movie, so no surprise she picked this one. I don't know that next movie, though. Or the one after. The next one looks like Beauty and the Beast, but I can't tell. I would assume by the dancing, yep. What's the next one? Is it Alien? No, it's not. I don't know what that next one is. Is it? It's not the Sixth Sense, is it? I have no idea. I don't think I've seen that movie. Uh, then we have Amelie. I've not actually seen that, but I recognize uh, the poster. Uh, the next one is The Matrix. I think The Matrix is definitely overrated. Sorry if that's an unpopular opinion. What's the next one, though? I don't really know. And the one after. Don't really know. Or the one after. Or wow, I've had an absolute nightmare at this row here. Uh, is my camera covering one, sorry. Uh, in the bottom right, this one down here, you can see is um, Braveheart. So, I will quickly get that typed in. Of course, I know what Braveheart is, being from Scotland. Uh, then we have the, the Silence of the Lambs, but I'm just going to type in Silence of the Lambs and hope they accept it. Yup. Uh, the next one... I mean, I, I know we have the Shawshank. Redemption. But, uh, from there on out... I'm kinda stuck. Why is that not Alien? I swear it is. I'm on a 5 out of 10 right now, which is not good. Um, and I feel like I should be able to get one of these top ones as well. We in Shell, it looks like it says, but I have no idea what it is. This one looks really familiar. Is that Arnie and Nicolas Cage? I can't make it out. 
don't know it then if that's the case. This one looks very familiar, is it Top Gun? It is, okay. That was a guess. And then this one here. I don't think I've seen it. Oh, this one here has just hit me. It's the big Lebowski. I've not actually seen it, but I know the uh, pictures from it. And the, uh, I know the actor as well. Um, what's this one here? What is this one? I doubt it's close encounters with the is it third kind? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know any of these last ones. It's gonna be a pain, but I'm going to... This one looks like some sort of boxing fighter movie, but I don't know what it is. This one here is killing me as well. And so is this one next to it. These two I should get. We have a minute and a half. Only 14, I'm gonna have to give up, sadly. 58%, uh, 6 out of 10. Just under average again. What did we miss? Tropic Thunder. The Nightmare Before Christmas. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Foot of the Fly. I don't think I was gonna get that. 300 Office Space. Amadeus. Yeah, I haven't actually seen any of these. I've not seen Face Off as well. The Wrestler. I see how it's on the right lines. Um, oh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas has killed me. I should have got that. Lady Hawk. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. 6 out of 10. Well, we have one final quiz coming, so hopefully it's a good category and something I can redeem myself with. I'm thinking what categories we've not had so far. I doubt she tried to do a music one, maybe just like an overall general knowledge. I don't know. Anyways, let's find out. It's sports. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> I like sports, um, but I feel like it's going to be sort of general sports. Can you fill in the blanks to complete the facts about smart, uh, sports and athletes? Okay, I have no idea this is going to work. We have six minutes to get 20. I will just get started and see what happens then. Uh, oh, right, okay, I need to scroll down for you a little bit. Zoom out a little bit, maybe, like that. There we go. Um, so, I'm going to scroll up a tiny bit. I'm wasting time. Okay. So you can see at the bottom it says nobody has ever verified, uh, made a verified perfect March Madness bracket. Okay, this is cool. I like this. The year he hit 61 home runs, blank, was never intentionally walked. I don't know who that is. NFL blank, NFL refs also get Super Bowl rings. That's cool. Blank held the world record for the first sub four minute mile for 46 days. I don't know, I'm gonna have to skip. Uh, blank never fouled out of an NBA game. That is, of course, Wilt Chamberlain. Big NBA fan. Uh, Olympic badminton rules state that's a birdie. Must have 16. What's a birdie? 16 rallies, 16 hits, 16 shuttle, um, 16 what? It's sitting right in front of me. I didn't know that that was called a birdie. 16 feathers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. In six of Blank's first seven games in 2011, the Broncos came from behind to win. I don't know. I don't know. Blank Blank is a professional sport in Thailand. I'm gonna, gonna guess. 
Skype flying. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, that is Federer. And it's Federer holds the record for the most Grand Slam. Um, oops. It's this one here. I can't go back to it. In hockey, a blank blank was originally called a buck off. I've never really watched hockey, so I don't really know what, what it actually is. Set in 1968, Bob Beeman's record in the blank blank would have won in the 2012 Olympics by two feet. That's got to be either long jump or high jump. We'll try long jump first. Nice. Okay, I think I've got to be a bit quicker here. Major League Baseball umpires are required to wear black blank in case they split their pants. Black belts. Why are they wearing gear? Black hats. I don't know. Black shoes. In case their pants split. Oh my goodness. Uh, not pants. That's going to be American. Black. Uh, um, British. I mean black underwear. That's amazing. I didn't know that. Uh, the most popular sport as a topic for a film is boxing. Blank has completed, uh, competed in 17 Olympic, uh, Summer Olympics and hasn't won a medal. In between Austria and Germany, um, not Germany, Switzerland. Is it Liechtenstein? There we go, Liechtenstein. Um, Blank is the only city in which all three of its big four teams wear the same colors. I don't know what city. It's not going to be New York. But I'll guess it. No, I don't know what city that is. Or what team that is. Um, in 1943, the Steelers and the Eagles combined their teams because so many players were serving in war, I would assume. In 1960, Bobert Richardson won the blank blank MVP even though he was on the losing team. Or baseball MVP or something like that, but I don't know what you call it. At his current base, blank will have to pitch until 56. Yeah, I don't know who that is, sadly. Until 1910, football teams were penalized 15 yards for an, a blank pass. See, I don't watch. forward a back pass I don't know I don't really watch American football infamous for his error in game 6 of the World Series blank I don't know who that is oh no all the ones that are left are like things that I'm probably not gonna get uh, oh actually that's Roger Bannister I know that from the 50p commemorative coins um, in in the UK, six of blanks, seven games. I don't know. In hockey, uh, right? Surely we could get this. Maybe tip off, um, puck off, a drop off, a face off. Oh, it is face off. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that, but okay. Um. Right, wait, it's not going to be Boston. What basketball team wears white and yellow? What basketball team wears white and yellow? I have no idea. I don't know. Pittsburgh. Ah, uh, they actually don't have a basketball team, so... There you go. Well... We ended up with 65, we round up to 7 out of 10, so although I was below average on that, we got 7 out of 10, which is not too bad. Uh, 13 out of 20, of course. Definitely could have probably done better at that one there, but sadly, I'll take a 7, I'll take a 7. So, yeah, it seems like my flag knowledge is my best, but they were all so, so much fun to do. So that is where we are going to bring tonight's video to an end. I'm going to quickly run through my scores again. We had 6 out of 10 on, um, what was the first one? Science. 
9 out of 10 on geography, 3 out of 10 on history, 6 out of 10 on film and television, and 7 out of 10 on sports and entertainment, I would assume. But uh, that is where we're going to bring tonight's video to an end. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you tried these quizzes yourself and what scores you got. You probably did better than I did though, but it was interesting to see how my general knowledge fared across those five categories. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to drop a big thumbs up. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you sleep well and are nice and relaxed. And good night everybody. <laughs>